So hello again, we have reached this exercise, so it's called beverages, so we have uh, Zahra, uh, she decided to go out with friends and she has some strange or bad habits to celebrate, so and she, uh, she likes to, 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 to drink sugars a lot, so she will start drinking with beverages with low sugar content and then move to those uh, with more sugar contents like Pepsi, so uh, uh, until no more available beverages, so uh, if, if Zahra starts to drink Pepsi, she cannot drink water, for example, since water co doesn't contain any sugar. So we should help her, Zahra to to indicate the order in which uh, she can drink uh, most of the drinks. So we have a number n indicating the number of available beverages. So it's uh, n between one and hundred, and for the input, it's followed by and line containing the name of beverages so for example here we have three beverages so we need to enter three uh, three names three strings and then we have a number m which is equal between 1 and 200 it's the uh, so the, the the relations between uh, the sugar content so uh, it means that uh, zahra should drink the first string before the uh, second one so at the end we should uh, tell zahra how she needs to drink uh, those drinks so uh, it's obvious it's not topological order we need to have uh, an ordering and again it's easy to see that the vertices are the drinks and the edges are the relationships however in this question the uh, vertices are not numbers 0 1 2 or 3 they are strings so we need to take into account this so in this uh, exercise I will solve it using adjacency list not adjacency matrix but however on the website here when clicking on help you will find uh, both solutions so I have uh, copied here the uh, solution of uh, topological sort using adjacency list so the graph declaration is uh, using uh, an, an array of linked lists we have the Q we have the adjacency matrix list sorry the implementation and the topological uh, sort so if you uh, don't uh, know how to do a topological sort you can check the uh, previous exercise uh, which called sticks pick up sticks or you can check the course or the uh, set of exercises on the graph so what do i have to do let's check, uh, check the 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 output so we need to read the number of averages and we need to update to modify a bit uh, the uh, struct of the graph so in the graph we have just uh, array of linked lists however we need also uh, an array of strings so for that we will uh, reserve here we will add a two-dimensional array of characters so it's called beverages so it's an array of strings so for that we have a two star here so let's move to the uh, adjacency list so we have a malloc here so we need to allocate the graph struct we are um, what else so printing enter the number of vertices no they are asking us just to enter the number of beverages so enter the number of beverages so this is for the number of vertex so here the number of edges is for later since it's asked later enter the number of relationships between the beverage i will keep it here and then check if i need to modify it or put it somewhere else so for the beverages so since now i know that i need also to uh, not just reserve uh, allocate the adjacency uh, matrix i need also to uh, allocate the array of beverages so here it's a, it's a char a malloc and it's equal to uh, that so here we should have char star so here we are allocating uh, the uh, array of uh, strings and then we are so what we should do here so they are asking us to print enter beverage number one enter uh, beverage number two so in the uh, for loop we will ask print f enter beverage number and then percentage uh, d and uh, d would be equal to i plus one since we are looping over the number of vertices we will do a scan f so we need a string and let's put it 
uh, into str1 so I need to declare for example str1 and str1 is let's place it here let's say so a, a drink of length 50 so we have read the string str1 and then I will need to add it to uh, the list so maybe I will keep that for uh, later when we are asking for the number of uh, uh, vertex I will do that alone so first I will just uh, read the strings and fill the beverage uh, array so in the beverage array I need to so here I have reserved the first one so let's keep this for later so let's do the beverages and here I need to use something like that so for each index I need to here however we have beverages of I I'm allocating char star and malloc here we have the str length of str1 so I need to include a string dot h multiple size of char so let me see if I have string dot h no so let us add it string dot h let's get down so what we have done here so we have allocated the two-dimensional array just pointers then for each um, uh, vertex I have read the string so the name I have added here so I need to do a str copy so string copy to beverage of i of str of 1 so I cannot write like this this is wrong because I will just put a pointer here I will not copy the string so this is wrong so I should not write stuff like that so this is for each the um, beverages name. Now we need to uh, fill the adjacency matrix. So to fill the adjacency matrix, let's uh, now move to that. So enter the number of edges. And when we enter the number of edges, we can now uh, do the, uh, the stuff. So we are allocating the two-dimensional adjacency matrix and we are looping over this uh, adjacency to do the stuff so let's do that so in U so let's get we can move it to the up here and let's do it at the same for loop since it will be the same so we will be allocating here uh, G of at the adjacency so check if it's correct I will just allocate a node and so let's put it underneath that so that we know that there's an I and and we place also those so we just make it in, in one loop it's better so that we don't loop twice so at the same time we are filling the uh, beverages uh, uh, array and we are creating the adjacency list so next so in the input I should enter uh, the number of relations between beverages and then we should write enter two three four beverages and stuff like that so first in order to read this I should write enter the number of relations between beverages and then I need to scan off uh, the number of edges then I will loop over the edges so we are here I should write enter to beverages so when I enter two beverages so they should be strings so I cannot use X and Y so I need to use two strings uh, so we have str1 we can reuse it and we need another one let's call it str2 so we will read uh, we are here two strings so s and s str1 and str2 so we have read two string now we need to uh, modify the uh, adjacency uh, lists so we need to find in which list we need to add uh, the, the element so what we will do is that in the adjacency list as you have seen here we will put just the index 
the index of the string. So we need to find the string here. We want to find str1, the index of str1 in the array of uh, beverages. We, we, we want to find the index of the str2 in the array of beverages. And then in the linked list, we will put just the index. So, so that before doing that, so here we search for indexes, uh, indices for str1 and str2 in the array of beverages so we need to search so let's make a loop for let's see we have we, can, we cannot use i we don't have we don't need x and y let's say u and v it's better for counter so for u equal to zero u is less than the number of vertex and u plus plus what i should do here is that i need to compare so if String comparison strcmp of str1 with g beverages of u. So if it's equal equal to zero, so I have found the index of str1 which is u. So let's say index str1 equal u. So we need to declare index str1 and index str2. So because we're doing the same loop at the same time, we will look for both in indices at the same time. So we have index, however, let's say else, if it's not the case, if str, now it's 2, if str2, so I will place str2. So whenever we finish uh, the for loop, it means that we have found the index of the first string and the index of the string, next string. So we allocate the node. We place here the index of the second string since we need it, we need to create this node and push it into the list of the first string. So and then the the next equal to null. Here the x is the index of str1, and as long as we move into the next element, so I think this is it. Yeah. Let's just, just skim over it quickly. So uh, we have read the number of beverages. We have uh, allocated the array of adjacency matrix, list, sorry, and the array of beverages. Then for each beverage, beverage we have read it. We have placed it in the array of characters. And then we have created a, a list for that node. And then we have read the number of relationships, of, of relation between beverages. So we entered each time two beverages. We have looked over the indices of these two beverages into the array of beverages. And then we have placed the index of the beverage in the, into the uh, uh, adjacency list. So as for the topological source, so let's see. So we need the queue. Um, we need also uh, the topological order. So it's not necessarily, but uh, let's see because we can uh, directly uh, print the element here as we are uh, doing with that. Since we will not be checking if there is a cycle, since in the uh, questions there is no cycle, so she cannot re-drink a uh, drink that she can. Uh, she already drank, so it's 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 not necessarily to have that, that. So for that we will not be using the counter. Hmm? Since we will not be, it's not necessarily to use a counter. We will not use it. And again, we will not use the topological order since the elements, as we have, as we are traversing the queue, will have the order. So of course, we will need the in degree. So we'll calculate the in degree for each vertex, and then we will traverse the linked list to fill the in degrees, which is also uh, true. And then we'll create a queue, so we don't need a topological order. We don't need the counter because there is no cycles. And then we will enqueue in the queue all uh, vertex, all vertices of uh, in degree equal to zero. Then we will loop over the queue. We will dequeue the element. We don't need the counter here, and we don't need also the topological order. So we will check the linked list as long as we don't have a head. There's there's a, there's a pointer. It means so we will uh, check the uh, adjacent vertex and we will decrease the in degree. And if it's equal to zero, we will in queue. And then we will move next. So we are here in the queue. So we can print the uh, element here, the beverage. 
so we don't need that we don't need that too because the question here is uh, more simple so we need to place um, percentage s and here is the beverage and it's of v since v is the element in the queue and at the end since there's a dot here I need to place a dot so let's check let's so we, we, quickly so we have the in degree we have the hat so we are uh, placing all the all the of these indicators equal to zero we are updating the in degree array and queuing all the vertices of index uh, of, of in degree equal to zero and then looping and updating the queue and uh, printing uh, the beverage so let's see uh, let's take an example so here we have three pepsi diet pepsi and we have water then we have it, uh, two diet so I'll copy paste that so that I don't commit a mistake and then so we, we have water diet pepsi so obviously Zahra should drink water then diet pepsi then pepsi so we have here an error so beverages I don't know how I wrote it is it capital no it's not capital so uh, let's see where I have used so it's uh, line 83 83 so it's a small p here so let's see how Zahra should drink water right Pepsi and Pepsi let's uh, try the other one so it's 5 uh, orange juice so I write orange Macau pomegranate water and jalib next we have six relations so Macau jalib and then uh, water Macau and then a water pomegranate and what else Macau pomegranate Macau orange so we can try to draw the graph and see that and orange jalib so so those are six so at the end we should have water macau orange pomegranate and jalib let's see if it's working so we have water macau let's check water macau orange so we have pomegranate orange and jalib pomegranate orange and jalib so since maybe we have multiple uh, uh, in the queue so there's no just one topological order so we can try and check this if it's uh, if it works or not so in the adjacency matrix will have the same output so because the traversal is a bit different when using a queue so uh, this is for the exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to uh, write to me i'll try to answer you back and again thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all the notification and thanks for watching